Bubble sort. Bubble sort is the simplest of all popular sorting methods and easy to implement. It works by comparing two adjacent data items and swaps them, if necessary, to bring them in proper order. Usually, the array is scanned several times. During the first pass, the first and second elements are compared. If found to be out of order, they are exchanged. Next, the second and third elements are examined and swapped if necessary. This process is repeated until the end of array is reached. As a result of the first pass, the largest element bubbles up at the end of the array. In the second pass, the subarray excluding the last element is processed. The passes are performed until the subarray is reduced to a single element. An example of bubble sorting is shown. In first pass, first two elements 56 and 89 are compared. Since these are in order, no exchange is required. Next, second and third element 89 and 77 are considered. Being out of order, these are swapped. Then, element in third and fourth position, 89 and 10, are compared and swapped. Next element in fourth and fifth position, 89 and 84, are considered and exchanged. This brings the largest element to the last position. In second pass, Elements in first and fourth position are processed. In the third pass, elements in first and third position are considered. In the fourth pass, the array is sorted. Please click the button to watch bubble sort visualization. Implementation of bubble sort Bubble sort is easy to implement. This figure lists the code for bubble sort method. Briefly, it performs these steps. We create two nested loops. Outer loop controls the passes. Inner loop iterates through the array to compare adjacent elements. Variable count is the total number of elements in the array X. This code fragment can be embedded into template class presented earlier to make a full flash program. Please click button to run interactive program for bubble sort. Analysis of bubble sort. We assume n is the size of array to be sorted. As discussed earlier, the bubble sort makes n minus 1 passes through the array in executing the outer loop. During pass 1, it makes at most n-1 comparisons. During pass 2, it makes at most n-2 comparisons and so on. Thus, in the worst case, it will make a total of n-1 plus n-2 plus n-3 up to plus 1 comparisons. The above series adds up to n n minus 1 by 2 is equal n square by 2 minus n by 2. Thus, running time of bubble sort in worst case is O n square by 2 minus n by 2. Ignoring the lower term and constants of the efficiency is O n square. Note that worst case occurs when the array is sorted in the reverse order. In the best case situation, the array is already sorted. In the improved version, bubble sort makes only one pass and makes n-1 comparison. Since no exchanges take place, the sort is terminated. Thus, in the best case, runtime is O n-1 or O n. Thus, 
Although Bubble Sort is simple to implement, it is not efficient for use on a large data set.